Welcome back to Tractor Art. I'm at Simmering Lava Lake. I would like to say right now thank you to Pad and Zach for joining me in the last episode, the last two episodes of Super Mario 3D Land XP Gold to the Max or USA. I had a really good time having them on the show and for those of you that, oh crap, for those of you that enjoyed that, I will surely have them back on for other projects, possibly some more of this project in the future, but you may recognize this as a level that I have previously been to and you can't long jump to that. So yeah, I've been to this level before and it's because, like I said, with three people, it was kind of lame to be going back and sort of like recollecting the stairs, so I decided that I would come back and kind of grab these in a future episode, but clearly this next star is perplexing me. At first I was perplexed when I saw its location. I was like, how did we miss that? It's right on the main path. And then I slowly realized it is less than on the main path, which kind of puts me in a predicament. Ooh, but I have the boomerang, the boomeroozel, which will maybe help. Oh, look at this. I was so stupid. See, there's a southerly path to get there. I was trying to do some crazy, oh, I was trying to do some crazy long jump crap to get to it, but clearly that was a bad idea. But anyways, you've already seen me and my friends beat the rest of this level, so I'm going to cut to the end, and I'll jump right in on the next star that I need to be retrieving if I cannot die. Wow, it actually took me a decent amount of time to find the second star in the Bowser level, and then I after, so I had to restart the level, and I realized as I came up to this button, I was like, what if I don't hit that button? Because, you know, a lot of the place times in this game, places where they want you to climb with the cat suit, they show with, like, this sort of camera, or they show with that kind of surface on it, with this, like, chain link surface. And so, sure enough, I tried climbing it, and there was the star. So, now I gotta go beat Bowser again. I wasn't sure if it was my imagination or not, but it turns out it was not my imagination. Me and Pat and Zach did actually manage to 100% this level on our first playthrough, which is... In my opinion, pretty oppressive, but I gotta run into the Cookie Cogworks and try and get star number three. Dude, what is that way over there? That must be a pipe that I missed, but you can jump to it. Oh my gosh, is this where the third star is? And the question is, if it is where the third star is, now we get to find out, this is crazy, I just jumped off the end of the level pipe. We're gonna find out where I missed the pipe at. This is awesome. Oh, I did it! Whoa, you're actually supposed to just jump there! That is like the first time they've done this in the game. Look, this is actually how you get to this. Usually they don't make it so there's any stars that you can get to uh, by doing anything weird like this at the end, but I guess they suddenly decide to change their tune and make it so you just jump over here. Crazy. Alright, well, that was- I was seriously- I was really worried when I got to the end of this level and I was like, I have no idea how I'm gonna find the star here. But hey, I found it, it is done, and it is dead. Now I know there is one level that me and Pat and Zach had a terrible, terrible time doing. I don't know if we got anything. I mean, we may have gotten something, I forget. We'll find out. So this level right here, I am not sure at all. We got one star. I might as well show the whole level because we seriously got nothing because, well, I, like I was saying in that video, we couldn't figure out, um, the, we couldn't figure out, like, the, how the mechanics work differently when you have your whole team versus when you just have one guy. And, like, the game claimed that, um, that there was some, like, different mechanic to, oh, we gotta, oh no! Well, I already missed that first star. We're going for that first star again! Alright, now that I've got it, I'll try to just make sure that I can at least finish this run, and so I can keep it, so then I can, in future times, focus completely on getting the third star, which of course, obviously has to be after this point, I just don't know where. So here's some confusion. Oh! There's a secret bridge! Confusion no more! I was seriously sitting there, I was like, okay, let's be honest here, how the heck a Rooney does the game possibly expect that you're going to be able to get that one? And now it is all made clear to me that you can easily get it by just doing some crazy stuff and going the secret route. But 
I didn't even see the third star in there. Well, that's just fantastic. I got the stamp, but after meticulously combing through this level a few more times, it finally occurred to me, all these statues are Goomba statues except for this one, so... And my theory has now been proven correct. I wasn't actually 100% sure that was gonna work, but I've just kind of been like combing through this level. Seriously, just like doing run after run of it, trying to figure out which, what would happen to make the green star appear. And I finally was like, dude, why is that statue a Bowser statue? So I ran into it and green star, ahoy. This is it, the final level of catch up before I can start going back onto the normal path of destruction. It looks like I only missed the green star, the middle green star and the stamp in this level. So I'll just cut around, tell you where those are, and then move right along. Okay, so we already got this green star, or maybe we didn't. Maybe we got it on one run through and then like missed it on another. We did! <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so dumb now. All right, by the way, so I totally remember how to get this one because I accidentally almost got it the last time. Oh, get it, there we go, I got it. Even if I get hurt, I don't care. Yep, there we go. I got them, holy fudge, I wasn't, I'm actually a little bit surprised I was able to pull that off, but yeah. The stamp, you just have to stomp on that thing, it'll pop you up to the top, and then you're good to go, and I'm gonna bring out the fireballs to beat her. I'm not sure if the fireballs damage her, but we're about to find out. Fireballs don't damage her, but that's okay, I was able to make it through, and I even maintained a fireball suit, so I obviously didn't do that badly. Now that I'm done and all caught up and all that goodness, we'll show what stamp I got here, and then I think I'm gonna end this, like, catch-up episode right here, and then in the next future episode, I can begin retreading through brand new spanking brand spanking new levels of joy and goodness now that I am caught up. And by the way, just to say something, I looked up how many worlds there are in this game. I still have like four more worlds that are just like bonus worlds. And like I said, I'm gonna be 100% of this game, so this series has got a ways to go, like way more time than I had actually thought. Oh, did we do? Okay. For a second there, I thought we had actually done these levels, but we hadn't. So in the next episode, I will be heading into either, oh, that's a Plessy, either Deepwater Dungeon, which apparently has Plessy in it, or Footlight Lane. So this has been Rektar, and thank you for watching. Oh, look at that! When I came to get one-ups, I got all the one-ups. I got all four. How many one-ups does that give you? I like, I don't even know how I did that. Oh, it's eight ups. I got so many ups. I just thought I would point out that I got eight ups there, so be impressed. In the next episode, I'll have eight more ups.